Let's look at the difference between relative cell referencing and absolute cell referencing. So here, for example, I've got a scenario where I want to take this mark that's out of 40 and convert it to a mark out of 100. So I'm going to pop in my formula. I'm going to divide the one by the other. And then whatever that answer is, multiply it by 100. Now with relative cell referencing, if you look at this, it's F4 divided by F3. If I use my autofill, what's going to happen with relative cell referencing is that's going to change F5, F4. F6, F5. Can you, can you see how that's changing? That's my relative cell referencing. As I autofill, um, the cell references is going to change as we go down. However, if I want to point um, one particular reference, because in this case now, when I start dragging this down, even just to the one below that, it's now going to take whatever is in cell F5 and divide it by whatever is in cell F4. And is that what I want? No, I wanted to continue dividing by uh, whatever is in cell F3 because that's the mark out of 40. So what I'm going to need to do is then click in over here and use my shortcut of F4 to apply absolute cell referencing. In other words, when I now use autofill, what's going to happen? That is not going to change. So I'm just going to apply my autofill over here and you'll see. I'm just going to apply my autofill. And there we can see how that changes. So now when I look in there, you'll see it's F4 divided by whatever's in F3. Same with the next one, F3. Same with the next one, F3. And F3. So that's the difference between relative cell referencing, which changes as we go down, as we use our autofill, as opposed to absolute cell referencing, where we're saying that one particular reference, or maybe both references, must not change and that we bring in through the use of our dollar signs.